Hi everyone, my name is Ari, uh, I'm Dutch, and I have learned Russian in the last five years. I've learned Russian in the last five years. Добро пожаловать на мой канал. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about a couple of interesting things surrounding AnkiJoy. It's a specific app, um, and here's basically the table of contents of how it's going to be in this video. First thing, what uh, what is AnkiJoy for app? Second thing, how does it help you learn new words? Third thing, how I apply it personally to my life. And the fourth thing, how you can apply it to your life. And the last thing is the biggest mistake that I made with AnkiJoy. And if you avoid this, you can save a lot of time and effort. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I got a free email course that teaches you the process on how to become conversational in Russian in about half a year. Uh, and you can sign up for that below in the description through the link there, just with your email address, and that's it. All right, let's get started. So what is AnkiJoy? AnkiJoy is a specific type of app. You can just install it on your um, Android, iPhone, or your PC. Um, it's free on PC and on Android, but I think it costs like $20, $25 on iPhone. Um, so yeah, in that case, install it on your PC, it works as well. And the app is very simple. It's a very bare bones app, basically. It just does what it needs to do, and that's why I really like it. The app just gives you flashcards. You know, the app just gives you a word and then says, do you know the word? For example, you, need to, you can either add your own flashcards or not. But let's say there is a word and the word is called Dierova. So you get the word Dierova. Then you, the word means um, tree, by the way. So then you press, if you knew it right away, you press easy. If it's easy, it means that you get the word the next time, uh, the next day um, or in four days, uh, depending on where it is. Look, if it's the first time you ever get the word and you press easy, it means you'll get it tomorrow. If you say the word is super easy, like I knew it right away, then you press uh, very easy. Then you get the word again in four days. If you kind of knew the word, but you find it difficult, like it took you a while to think about it, then you press difficult. And then you also get it sooner. Um, and if you didn't know the word, you just press didn't know. And then you get it again in like 10 minutes or after you finish the, the last of your stack. So the power of this method is that all the words, you just like either get a deck online or install your own deck of flashcards. And you, uh, the power of the method is that you spend every single day, if you just do 10 words, for example, 10 repetitions and a couple of new words, that you spend most of your time learning words that are difficult to you. Because with some other flashcard apps, like you're going over words that you already know most of the time and that you know in a way it's a little good but it also teaches you to kind of not really pay attention and then you just go through the words yeah notice 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 i notice i notice i notice and then it comes a difficult word and you're kind of still in that you're not really using your brain also i notice and then you're, i can kind of maybe not knew this but with enkidroid you just most of the time you're like really focused like hey do i know this word and then you can decide if it's easy difficult or um, or very easy and uh, this is a great app and a lot of people also use it, for example, for medical terms and stuff. But using it for languages is one of the, the easiest applications if you're, learning, if you're learning Russian. So I want to go over how I applied it. In, in 2016, uh, in June, I went for the first time to Russia. And a couple months before that, I thought I, I came across this app and I thought, well, I'm going to use this. I'm just going to put in a lot of flashcards uh, to be able to at least get the basic stuff done. And then I just went to Russian Pod 101, checked their list of 2,000 most common words, and I just started from word number one, manually typing in everyone, uh, every, every single word. Uh, and I did that for about 800 words or so, and then I just went through it for a while, and for a couple of months, and just kept on doing that for, even when I came back from Russian, probably did it for a year, I think. And that just taught me a lot of great vocabulary in Russian, and I'm still very happy with that. So you can, you can do the same thing. You can also apply it to your life. If you really want to learn a lot of voca vocabulary, then I highly recommend AnkiJoy because the process is just very focused. And if you just spend five minutes per day on the app, that's already enough to get a lot of results from it. Because let's, let's say in five minutes, you do five new words, like five new flashcards from the deck and 20 repetitions. So that way you're practicing 20 words you already know and five new words. 
And that means that in the span of half a year, like 180 days multiplied by five, that's 900 words. If you know the 900 most common words, you probably can already understand like 60, 70, 80% of most conversations. And that's a huge thing. Afterwards, the vocabulary only gets easier. So I highly recommend uh, you install AnkiJoy and uh, yeah, and start doing it like every single day for five minutes. You can do it, yeah, since it's an app, you can do it while waiting in line for groceries, while sitting in the car, while if you're not driving, of course, while sitting in the metro going to work, while, you know, on the bathroom, I don't know, after dinner, like everyone can fight five minutes. And really the, the compound and the fact of doing this is huge. So I also want to let you know the biggest mistake that I made when, uh, when, when installing Ankyjoy and that was that I manually added all the cards and this was such a huge pain and my thumbs were hurting and I was doing it on my phone and my eyes were hurting from all the time doing this and it just took, I don't know, so many hours and at the moment I didn't know that you can just download a pre-made uh, flashcard deck online from other people that have put in the effort and you can check like different ones some are made specifically for verbs some are made specifically for the, the thousand most common words um, and there's just a huge amount of people that share those decks that they made themselves you can use that for free so i highly recommend if you're installing android to create to, to to download a deck first from other people and only then if you find that for some reason it doesn't work for you or you prefer to focus on a specific amount of words that you don't know yourself, uh, then add them in manually, but first use someone else's deck. So that was the video. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. And if you liked it, then I think you'll also enjoy my little email course that teaches you the basics of conversational Russian in half a year. So you can sign up for that through the description below. And the, the, the last bit of motivation for this is like, it, it literally costs less than five minutes per day to install Anki. And with five words per day, it, you learn the mo thousand most common words in a little over half a year. And this is huge because you'll already be able to understand a lot of Russian, read simple books and everything. And five minutes per day multiplied by 180, that's, I don't know, like 15 hours or so. It's really not a lot. So uh, 18 hours, no way. Well, all right, doesn't matter. It's not a lot of time to learn the most common words and you'll get a lot out of it. All right, goodbye, have a great day, bye.